LaRouge for me meant the last basically. So there are faults there. They are not as easy. Does anyone have any idea? The spoons are not going so well. Right, yeah. that's one. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? The spoon. Just the, the success. Oh, so that should be one. Kind of neat, but it's kind of hard to be in. Don't go on there's plenty of space around the back, guys, if you want to keep on walking around, keep moving around. Don't be afraid to touch it. Yeah, no, it's not funny seeing the same Actually, the table cloths you'll find when they come back from the linen press and stuff like that, or wherever they come from, usually are folded. So you will get the actual crease where they're folded. Because it's stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's a spoon. So that's not a fold. That's just no. That's just normal. No. The table cloth. There's no folds on the table cloth. It's in amongst everything else. Like this fork's up there. Now, if so you're paying top in. dollar and you've got a really high end, really high end wedding decorator, they will actually bring in their iron and iron the table cloth. That's right. Mm. Mm. Tell them to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want a hint? Yes. yes. Okay. I know. The glassware glass is not all clean. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> You need to know what you're looking for. All right? You can get. I'm not quite sure which glass it is. That one has. Yeah, that one. One of them's got lipstick on it. You can miss that. Oh, goodness, you would. Okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. extra flavour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> lipstick. Now, this can go through a dishwasher to be sanitised, but not necessarily come off. And you could miss this. Because if it's turned upside down like that, how are you going to see it? You, I have had, and you will come across this, last way that comes out of a dishwasher must always come out, you need to set it aside, let it just, you know, dry off, right? And then you polish them polish with a cloths. white cloth. Yep. Oh, so right. maybe I have to ask with the glasses, is it a, a mistake that they're upside down or is that just no. a preference? No, I just put it like that because I didn't want the dust in it. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought they might just pick it that way. Yeah. They're supposed to be turned up the other way. Well, yeah. that's yeah. And they're turned down because I thought these are things that you will come across. You'll come across dust on glasses. Now, it doesn't matter if you've had all these glasses that come out onto your tables. Do not put the glasses back into the boxes yeah. that they come from and put them away. They need to go back through the dishwasher. Every single one of them. Why? Because it's about hygiene. Yeah. I, I've come across so many vendors that just... Yeah, I know. And I'm like... Yeah. And I have some to Because I think to myself, fingerprints. Fingerprints are another one of glasses. Yep. Dust is another one of glasses. What am I covering? And dints. Dints, yeah. yeah. One of the glasses here. It's got a dint on it. I think it's one of the big ones. Oh, no, it's one of them. One of them. Okay, this one's got a fault. Don't put this glass out on the table. Why? That's what the people will find. Oh, no. Let's see what else is here. Do you not get it? So, that's only a fault in the glass. But that can cause major hiccups when it comes to clients or guests. At a table. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Napkins. Yes. The inserts, some of the inserts are correct, some are not. Don't so. Okay? So how about, but rather than you tell, how about everybody around the room tell the faults that you, do you mind, sorry, Wendy? No, go right ahead. Yeah. I've only given you three. Yeah. Okay. It's so, there. around the room, one by one, tell me which faults did you find? The bow, this bow on this chair is the wrong side. 
Okay, Alright, Caleb, which box did you find? I couldn't find any. Who's next door? Um, the knives. Brandon. Yeah. Um, we saw the spoons were around, but one spoon was added. Okay. Who else? Yeah, yeah okay. I'm done the lipstick. Yeah. What else have we found? Anybody found anything other than what we just said? No, it was, uh, okay, I'll give you another clue. The plates need to be right to the edge. Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. The table setting has to be perfect, but it's not. And that is a big issue. The plates must be set right to the edge of the table. So in other words, this one? Yep, all of them are not set like that. We just put them on the table. See what I'm saying now? They're so inconsistent that you won't see them, but they're there and you need to find them because your bride will see them. The bride particularly, the mother of the bride, more so. She's the one you got to worry about more so because she's going to find fault in anything and it goes blah, 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 blah. And that word goes a bit. So you can imagine. Not always have plates on the table either, just to say the end only. Pardon? Not always have plates on the table. Usually, in a table setting, the big plate's not even there. No, that's right. It's only that plate. Yeah, it's like a gym plate. Yeah, and they just put that there. So these are not always on the table. Does anyone know how to even hold a plate? Yes, I do. You can take the other one too. So he can go for, he can go for, I can go for. So even part of... I can, in terms of the size of the plate. Yeah. 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 It, de it depends how hot it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Or if actually have glasses on top of the plate, yeah. as well. Yeah. I'll just have that plate for a minute. This is how you hold a plate, everyone, if you don't know. Your thumb and your little finger. You put the plate like that. And that one rests on top. And that one goes there. You've got the three. You can do it like that. But we usually put three, and then we have one in the other hand. <laughs> that should be in parenting magazines when you've got to feed all those kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't even know how to do this. I started a job, and they said, do you know how to carry three plates? I said, no. But I had no idea. They said, no. well, here you go. They said, this is what we want you to do. Go home, sit in front of the TV, hold the three plates, put a brick on it. Yep. Because you know what? Your muscles get so sore. But you have to learn that when you've got weight on a plate, you have to carry it. Mm. And not spill it. <laughs> That's right. And the hardest bit is alternative drop. Chris, what side do you serve it from, from the plate when you put it on? Right. Uh, the right side. Not that, uh, sorry. Left side. Left side. Left side. And you, left. So the you go side, you don't, don't you this side, you go from the left. And so when you're putting it on the table, you go from the left. When you take them away, you come from the right. And you do not, do not do It's this. always clockwise. Yeah. And it's in the head of the table. Yeah, so alternate drop means one gets beef, one gets chicken. And they go around like that. And they can swap between themselves. They can yes. swap, you do not From experience. Do, it. <laughs> do not do it yourself. Don't say, oh yeah, you can have this. Sorry. No, 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 sort it out yourself. Because you are not there you tell them what to do. You're there to do your job. And your job is to just deliver all the plates. And do it in a timely fashion. And that's right. And you have a time frame. Your time frame is usually about um, 15 minutes. Is this only if you're like their waiter or waitress? Mm -hmm. Yes. If you're a bar staff or wait staff, you still are expected to know how to do it. Yeah. Because you get swapped around a lot. But like I said, the table settings, your table settings have to be perfect. I will tell you another one, your cutlery. Cutlery, cutlery yeah. needs yeah. to be through a dishwasher. It, it will have water stains on it. Yeah. Now, I haven't polished mine, but you guys did not pick that up. I didn't. Yeah. I actually know, I did one. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it has to go through a sanitizer first, and not only that, 
when you, you might get new forks, new knives and all that, and they have the sticky residue from the labels on them. That's also a fault, but you won't pick it up. It just looks like a little black blob. And I was going to say, uh, two That's right, and the two knives here are exactly okay. the same. So you... I'm facing the wrong way. That's mm. right. So there are, like I said, there were ten faults. The chair cover, the, one of the inserts for the napkin, um, the plates are not set properly. They're not perfect, they're supposed to be, but they're not. Um, you've got the lipstick on the glass, you've got a glass that also has dust on it, because some of them, yep. I'm not quite sure which one it was now, but I think it was, I think it's that one actually. No, that's the fault. That's this one. one. This one is slightly got fingerprints and dust on it. Very minute. It looks cloudy. No, that one is, sorry. Can you see the difference? Mm. Mm. So, that, do not put that on the table. You'll get came for it. It's your reputation. If you're going to do something well, do it exceptionally well. Do it better than well. So, yeah, even though that's got the lipstick on it. All these three went through a dishwasher. This one didn't. But this, I let it sit out for a while and collect the dust. So it just shows you, if you have them upside down, you won't see that. So you need to make sure you check all your glassware. Because the glassware is the biggest thing that everybody else is going to crack up about. Don't you normally also have a um, cake fork as well? Is there a fork you have Yes, the, yeah. fork, the cake fork. You can have a spoon this way and a cake fork will go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Doesn't the setting also depend on what the bride wants? It depends so, on if she gets a two course or a three course. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Depending on what menu she wants, yeah. and what you, how you set the table. Yeah. So usually your budget um, per head is fifty nine dollars, and the most is eighty nine dollars. That's usually the range you come in. Most people go between that, but you do have the pick. If you choose a fifty nine dollar one, they don't usually have alcohol at their service. They usually do soft drinks because they can't afford to go that high. So they have a very limited budget. So if you get the ones, there are um, a lot more higher budgets as well, which is about $150 per head. So if you're going to charge that per person, that needs to be up here with exception. Like, that needs to be perfect. Yeah, we went to a wedding where there were seven courses. Yeah. That was an Italian wedding. Yeah, I know that well. That was the last one. Did they have better falls as well? Sorry? Did they have better falls? Yeah. I can't remember what was that yeah. one. Oh, pedophores basically is a round oval plate. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like chocolates and then milk and sugar. Yeah, but I can't remember what was that. That was <laughs> that long ago. Yeah. 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 So do you understand what I was trying to put across to you? Yeah. Do you have a better understanding? Is it, was it simple? Do you think the actual presentations were simple and easy to understand? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So even as a wedding planner, we don't get it right either, okay? But in all the years that I've learned on the job, perfection is the key. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not perfect, do it again. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think I mentioned in the workshop a while ago is too, like knowing all these things is very important, but um, as you said, it's the set, uh, reputation and things That's like right. that too. But it's also about the guest experience and about the perception. If they sit down at a meal and the table is perfect, it's beautiful, they're going to just go, no rubber chicken, we're going to go and have a really great day. Mm. If they sit down and their fork's are missing and there's lipstick on the glass, they're going to start looking for fault in other areas. Yeah. Okay? You've changed their mindset from mm. one, I'm here to have a really good experience and it's already wonderful, to, oh my God, there's lipstick on the glass, I don't have a knife. Um, right. What else is going to go wrong? So you've created a different mindset from what they might have walked in with. So you, you yeah. want to try not to do that. So great. You're creating negativity, yeah. By getting it wrong, by not checking it, by not having it perfect, you're creating a negative impression. And that negative impression will build. Because next thing they're going, I do put lipstick on my glass and my fork's missing and, and, and your knife's missing and oh, this is not really good. And all That's of a sudden you've got a whole table starting to, starting to find fault. Mm. Yeah. And once they start that negative cycle of finding fault, it's hard to stop. Yeah. yeah. Not only that, I just want to say that doing a wedding can take up to 250 hours for one wedding. No, Very right, so if you work that out, that's actually six weeks worth of full-time work. 
So if you have to plan it right from get go to the day of the actual wedding, that's that could be 250 hours. And then you've got to clean up afterwards. That's Everyone right. thinks right up to the event, but you know what? The event doesn't stop there. Oh, no. Not, not from your aspect of the industry. The event stops there from the guest experience. That's right. But from a wedding yeah, organ yeah. wedding or oh, hiccups, yeah, wedding or event yeah. organisers, it is not over. You've yeah. still got to deal with the aftermath. You've got to clean it up, you've got to wash everything, you've got to pack it, you've got to sort it, you've got to make sure your accounts are done, you've got to send out your thank yous, you've got to do all of that after work. That's that right. Most people when they're planning an event stop at the end of the event. It's like this big wall. Like, yeah. no, it keeps on going baby. So as a planner, I know that like I said, you have to think outside the box. You have to go that extra mile and you do. Mm. Because if you want that client just spread word around to other people, come and see me. You're gonna to have to do the job that you don't want to do really, which is all the little gritty work. Yep. And it's stressful. You will get um, venues that will not get back to you. You oh, can, um, I've, I've been in the actual war zone where the actual supplier that was to supply all the total costs and everything, didn't get back to us till the week before the wedding. I said, I'm sorry, I forgot. And I went, forgot. Um, we were chasing her, she wouldn't get back to us with emails and it was emails and phone calls mm. galore and I thought, oh my hair out. I must admit in that circumstance if they hadn't got back to me a week before, oh. I, I would have two weeks before that already found another supplier. Well, I mean I spoke to the assistant but I couldn't get hold of the actual owner. Mm. And it was her that I needed mm. because she had to give the actual go ahead, yep, no worries. Mm. But you do have these hiccups. Really and that's, I think, part of my thing with it, choosing your AC, like choosing your people that you choose to work with. That's right. If you're working for a company, you've got a choice to use various suppliers. Would you choose somebody who wants to leave you hanging until the week before and maybe have to do a last minute panic? Or would you choose to make a relationship with somebody who responds to your working inquiries? No. You know, why that's go true. for that stress? And then as a supplier, which one are you going to be? That's right. And sometimes you have to be the person to do the job, mm. whether you're qualified to do it or not. So mm. if your supplier lets you down, where else are you going to get your table cloths from? You know what, I'd be on the phone, I'd be Googling, I'd be doing whatever I could do to get that job done. Mm. Because my job was the client. Mm. My job's not, oh, okay, the venue. No, my job's the client. Because you know what, her word's bigger than, you know, whatever. I do want to say, I've got one more trick up my sleeve. I actually want to do a photo booth. So I made up some little French hats and French moustaches to take your funny photos. I don't care what face you pull, but you Come know on, what? Come on, group photo. It's your growing question. Oh, okay. um, would it be actually a conflict of interest between you as a wedding planner and say maybe a restaurant <laughs> manager who's <laughs> overseas and able to make sure it's actually properly set? Okay, you've got a hot Even though I'm worried that you make sure you know, it's going to be high for the research that you've done. Yeah, we'll see. Check, 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 check. Yeah, yeah.